Hi friends, uh, I am Jitendra. Today we will going to see a file connector with a mule soft, and we will going to discuss various features available with a file connector. And we will going to see the demo on like how you can use the file connector as a inbound as well as a outbound. Okay, so let me create a new mule project. New mule project. I will say file connector. I will keep runtime as a 3.8.3. Uh, rest of the thing I will ignore. Uh, I will simply click on finish. Okay. So now first thing, I will going to drag and drop a file connector into the canvas. Just wait. It taking some time. So you can see the file connector as a inbound. So now we are going to use this as a inbound. So let go to the source test resources. Right click on that, and if you want to create a two folder, I will say a folder one is in. Okay, I want to create one more folder. One is out. And I will create one more folder that is a backup. Okay. Simple. So here I will say source. I will set the input path from where we need to pick the input file. So in our case, we will going to use in folder. So from in folder, we will going to pick the file. We will going to see the rest of the settings afterward. Let first we will start with the simple thing, and I will just add one logger. And now I will add one more file connector as a outbound. So basically, what will happen? This we will going to drop the file in in folder, and from in folder file will go move to the out folder. So here, for that we will going to set SRC test resources out. That's it. Okay. Uh, sorry, uh, I have clicked on the wrong application. Yeah. Let me add some CSV file here. I will going to add uh, some file. I require some file, right? So for testing purpose, I am going to use some file. So let me go to F drive. I have some files here and there. So let me go. I have some data files. I will just copy that file here and paste it here. Okay, this is the CSV file. We can open that file and I can show you. They are simple CSV file. So we are we are we are not going to do anything with that CSV file. Simply we will drop that file into in folder and it will going uh, it will file will get processed and it will store into the out folder. So let me copy the file. Let sorry, first let me run the application. So I have to deploy the application. Let me. The application has been deployed successfully. Now I will going to copy this file into in folder. Let me copy it. I will paste it in in folder. Okay. okay. Now I will refresh it. File should move from in to out folder. Okay. There is no file in in folder. Now we can check that. file has been moved to the out folder we will going to uh, test some more thing now what happen so like uh, i have to move that file to the backup also sometime what happen like we receive some file first we have to backup those file and then we have to move it forward okay to the next processor so at inbound we have a one good facility we have to go to the inbound file connector so it was saying like move to the pattern Move to the pattern in what? What should be a file name in the backup folder? So I will say 
as message dot inbound properties dot I will say original file name okay I will say dot backup okay and move to directory so I have to uh, give the directory name also okay so I will say backup okay I will save it I will remove the file from here okay, now again I will paste the same file into in folder now refresh it let me refresh so you can see like now see so you can see the file in the backup folder also like electronic transaction.csv.backup. dot backup so what I have defined here like uh, okay the original file name so with the message inbound property we have one property called original file name so, okay so original file name dot backup so our original file name is electronic transaction dot csv after that I have append dot backup so even I can see one file in out folder so what happened so inbound file connector has received the file first it has backup that file into the backup folder because we have said that like move to the pattern and move to the directory we have set these two properties and finally then after that it has sent to the other processor so finally it has saved into the out folder now I am going to show you one more thing uh, let me go to the metadata uh, sorry one minute sorry I have to go to general okay here you can define the file name regex filter so you can restrict the type of file has to be picked from that in folder so if you want to say you want to pick up only csv file so you can define the filter here so what I will do I will say just pick up csv file let me sorry I have to click on the add button I will say dot star csv just pick up csv file and it should be case sensitive no I will say no case sensitive that's fine okay I will say finish okay let me save the application okay I will remove the file from this both location okay so let me check the console okay the application is deployed again I will copy I will paste the file here okay now I will refresh this whole thing so you can see now there is a file in out in the electronic transaction dot csv so what I will do I will create one file which doesn't have an extension dot csv I will say new file and I will say test dot txt finish I put some data in that okay just some dummy data I will save it what I will do I will go in to uh, copy that file into in folder and this file should not be picked up now okay because we have set the regex like we have to pick only csv file okay let me refresh the folder see this file has not been picked now again what I will do I will delete this two file again from the backup folder I will copy I will paste it here sorry okay now I will refresh it again see the electronic CSV file has been picked up and it is in backup and out folder so it is very easy to use the file connector as a inbound as well as outbound thank you for watching video